Welcome to cell theory and organelle notes. So the cell theory has three parts. One, all living things are made of cells. Two, cells are the most basic unit of life. And three, all cells come from other cells. Let's look at the first part of the cell theory. Although all living things are made of cells, organisms may be unicellular, meaning they're composed of just one cell, multicellular, composed of many cells that may organize into tissues, organs, and organ systems. Part two of the cell theory is that cells are the most basic unit of life. It is the smallest part of an organism that is still capable of all of life's processes, but they are very diverse. There are two main types of cells, prokaryotic cells, and eukaryotic cells. So let's break down the details between these two types of cells. So prokaryotic cells. The defining characteristic between a prokaryotic cell and a eukaryotic cell is the presence of a nucleus. Prokaryotic cells do not have a nucleus. I always remember this as pro-no, no nucleus. Eukaryotic cells do have a nucleus, so you do have a nucleus. Next category is membrane-bound organelles. This means that there's a membrane that separates each of the organelles or smaller parts of a cell. In prokaryotic cells, it's another pro-no. Eukaryotic cells are another you-do. So prokaryotic cells, no nucleus, no membrane-bound organelles, pro-no. Eukaryotic cells, yes nucleus, yes membrane-bound organelles, so you-do. Division. So how do these cells divide and make new cells? Prokaryotic cells do binary fission, where they basically just split in half and make two new cells. Eukaryotic cells go through mitosis, which is the more complex version of cell division, where everything inside the cell is duplicated before the cell separates into two new cells that are identical to the original. Size of organisms. So if you're a prokaryotic cell, you are a unicellular organism, meaning only a single cell makes up the organism. Eukaryotic cells can be unicellular, meaning one cell organisms, or multicellular organisms like us. Presence of a cell wall. Prokaryotic cells do have a cell wall that surrounds them. Since they're a single cell, it's a nice protection. Eukaryotic cells, it's just plants and fungi that would have a cell wall. And then what types of organisms make up each type of cell? So bacteria is a great example of a prokaryotic single-celled organism. And eukaryotic cells can be organisms like animals, plants, fungi, or protists. Although there are two main types of cells, prokaryotic and eukaryotic, all cells have these four components. One, genetic material, either DNA or RNA. And that's where you find it in the cell. Two, they all have cytoplasm. So cytoplasm is what the parts inside the cell are floating in. They all have a cell membrane that's around the outside of the cell. And they all have ribosomes, which are super important organelles for making proteins. So all cells have genetic material, cytoplasm, cell membrane, ribosomes. Let's focus in a little bit more on these organelles or the smaller parts of a cell. All cells have those four structures right? Genetic material, cytoplasm, cell membrane, ribosomes. But if you're a eukaryotic cell, you also have membrane-bound organelles. The organelles are specialized structures within a cell that help work together to help the cell function. Think of them as mini organs. Organelle, like a little organ. Within the cell, working together for one main purpose, to make protein. So we have an animal cell here and a plant cell. 
remember, eukaryotic cells include plants, animals, protists, and fungi, but we're going to focus mainly on plants and animals.